Hey, my name's Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. So today, a couple things. Uh, one is I wanted to, to give a review on this Penelope. This is a cask strength toasted uh, barrel. Uh, it's coming in at... 115 proof so interesting to see where this comes in um, and also some interesting news on Penelope <clears throat> they are or they have or will be purchased um, by MGP so now MGP will will own their own uh, own brand I would say in Penelope so that's news to the market very interesting and it brought me back to I've had some of this but I've never really done a review on that so I was excited about that um, also Pulled a winner yesterday, but didn't announce it in a video. We had a we had the Easter egg winner uh, for the George T. Stag, um, so they're going to be pouring a sample out for that, uh, announcing that winner uh, during this video as well. And please forgive the bar; it, it may seem like there's a little clutter up here, but working on a, a sample pack for someone, um, so working to get that done and completed as well. Um, so looking forward to that as well. Um, also, uh, I know later in June, I'm going to be doing some uh, traveling overseas, part of my job at work, and I wanted to get some of your feedback, some of the best places that uh, maybe I should start looking for some bourbons by overseas. Now, I'll be in Italy, um, so we're going to start in Rome, and then we'll be southwest of, uh, I think we're going to be southwest of Milan for a little while. Um, so if you have any places or suggestions where I should maybe look for stuff though I'm there to hunt, just let me know. Um, but let's get this Penelope open and crack and see what we got. And I can hear Gabe in the back room, so I'm not sure if my wife or Michael is messing with him or what's going on there. So let's see what we got. One second, let me go check on Gabe. And I'm back. So... Sorry about that, Gabe. He's our 14-year-old standard poodle. He's our old man around here, but he does not like storms. And we've got storm front rolling through, and he just does not like to be alone. So my wife was hanging out with my son, playing with the cat in another room. So you might hear Gabe wandering around. He's just not one to be alone when it storms outside. And I got it. You know, that's just who he is. He thinks he's more of a person than a dog anyway, so he just wanted to be out. But let's nose this Penelope and see what we got. You get your vanillas, you get your caramels, you get your oak in there right off the bat. A little bit of cinnamon. Faintest, faintest bit of mocha maybe in there. Tiny bit of a, maybe some orange peel or something in there as well. Let's give it a taste. Wow. This has a little more spice than I thought it would um, up front. It's been probably a couple months since I've had a pour of this. Um, but you get that nice Kentucky burn down through the chest. Got some nice spice on the tongue. Probably about a medium finish. Getting a lot of that oak mid palate, back palate. Still getting a lot of spice in there. Getting a lot of pepper through here. And this, is, I think this is a four grain mash bill. So you got a little bit of everything in there. <clears throat> so you're going to probably have some wheat, some rye, some corn. Some malted barley in there. After a couple sips in, I'm getting more of the sugars in here. Uh, getting some of the caramel, a tiny bit of green apple, a little bit of that orange peel that you kind of got on the nose. The finish is about a medium finish. Um, it's a good, it's a good pour. It's something that I enjoy. It's, I think it's probably a lot better uh, in the fall time. I think certain bourbons are just better in the fall. Um, there some are a little lighter, and some of them just have a little more character. That'd be better for a cool day outside. I think the toasted would be. And you got to remember, toasted products tend to cost a little bit more. 
because they, they have to be barreled twice. You know, you'll have the first char virgin oak barrel that they'll put the, that they'll create the bourbon in, and then that has to be transferred to another cast that's not charred, but toasted, where they bring that temperature up to a certain point. So you get more of that oak flavor and maybe some of the oak sugars and the intensity of the flavor there. So they tend to cost more. So know that going in when you get a toasted, you're paying not only for, you know, you're not only paying for just being called toasted, but the process behind it, being double barreled into something like that. Same, same principle with the finished. Now this is actually getting a lot sweeter as I drink it. Um, getting a lot smoother as I drink it. So enjoying it more and more as it unfolds a little bit. And I've had a few sips off of it. And that tends to happen with me is that you get that first initial explosion. And then after that, you kind of get some of the different flavors as you, as you explore it a little more, chew on it a little more, You're liking it more as I drink it right now and getting some of the nice sweetness to it, getting a tiny bit of the mocha off of it now. Still has some pepperiness there, which I think is really nice. You get this interesting balance of sometimes you get some sweet, sometimes you're getting a little bit of spice on your tongue. I'm getting a lot of the oak, some of the dryness on the back. A good pour for me. I'm, I'm very interested to see where Penelope is going to go now that MGP is buying them uh, and to see how the product turns out. I think that they have a very good product. I know a lot of people are hot on the Rio right now. I haven't seen it anywhere. I don't know if I'll ever see it, but... You know, that may, that may fall into someone's hands around here and I'll get a sample of it or I'll maybe get a bottle myself. So interested to see about that. Penelope is a very good product. Enjoyed this pour. Uh, I think that a lot of people would enjoy this as well. Um, second part of this video, <coughs> George T. Stagg. So we had, you know, we had the one that was dedicated for Memorial Day. Um, but this was also someone, this was also a different video, that an Easter egg in the video. That if you found that Easter egg, George T. Stagg would be available to somebody. So I was actually able to pull a name on that. Uh, and it's, it's a pretty neat story, too, because I actually have had some conversations with this person. Um, so I think this will be a nice pour for them. So the winner of this uh, was Bandito85FX. Um, he has his own YouTube channel. Um, there's some history that kind of ties him to this area currently. Um, and he was actually coming into town a few months or last month. And uh, we had talked about maybe trying to get together and hunt some bourbon and things like that. Uh, but things didn't work out. You know, we spent time with family and doing some things there. And he had to, he was trying to get back home to be with his missus, which, which was awesome. Um, you know, and so we never got that chance to, to meet up, but, he watched the video, he put in the phrase, and uh, I happened to pull that today, and I'll put that at the end of this video, that, you know, uh, Bandito85FX, you won the George T. Stag. I've actually got his phone number, um, so I'll reach out and text to him and let him know so we can get that set up and figure out how we're going to mule that to him. So I'm excited about that. Um, and while I've got this out and open, I might as well pour this other sample, which was going to somebody for a different project altogether. Um, this is actually someone that trades or make sure that I get some good samples and they get some good samples. Um, and he has been phenomenal and awesome for that, but working on a package for him. So wanted to get him poured up as well. So looking forward to that, but I hope you all have an amazing day. Um, three day Memorial day weekend coming up, looking forward to spending some time with my my daughter and son-in-law and my grandkids with my you know with my son and my wife here looking forward to a nice three-day weekend and and of course a weekend of remembrance but you all have an amazing day thank you for everything you do